I take it as a conviction that it isn't the robot guys that are going to fix this. It's the prosthetic guys. Oh, that's an interesting right? way of looking at it. Right? I mean, we're sitting here talking to, you know, robot labs about grasping. We need to be talking to the VA, right? Because that's really where this is going to ultimately come from. They're the ones that have the, you know, biggest problem that think about this all the time. Think about how do you control it? <laughs> you know, all of that. And so I spend a fair amount of time just following the, you know, work in the prosthetic space, because I think in the end, you're going to attach it not to an amputee all the time, but to a robot that is equally, you know, hampered in its dexterity. I'm just thinking of that Johns Hopkins robot, Robo Sally, that did that. <laughs> so. Yeah. So, you know, there's, there's going to be work afoot. I think that's where the next big developments will come from.